Hi, my name is Dave Tremolin, and this is my entry for the LPC Espresso Challenge. We're talking about a logger variometer for RC aircraft. What's a variometer? A variometer is also known as a rate of climb indicator, a vertical speed indicator, or a vertical velocity indicator. It's an instrument used in aircraft to inform the pilot of an instantaneous rather than average rate of descent or climb. What's a logger? In this case, a logger feature helps the RC pilot to review the flight performance and optimize each aspect of the flight, including launch, finding lift, staying in lift, and landing. The prototype logger logs at half a second per sample with a 10 centimeter, which is about 4 inches, resolution. Let's take a look at an example flight log of eight flights that I did on June 26th. As you can see at the very, very beginning, it starts out at zero, uh, and the ends of the flight seem to get a little higher. The reason is that the place that it was actually launching from was a little bit higher on the field from the place where I actually turned on the aircraft. Uh, the first couple flights were not very spectacular. Uh, the third flight, as you can see, I got a little lift at about 150 feet. It was very early in the morning, and of course the last flight, I actually got some lift and stayed in what's called zero sync for a while before ending my flight. And in the next slide, we'll take a look, and that's an expansion of that actual flight. All of the logging data goes into a micro SD memory, and I created a tool to delog that information from its compressed format into an Excel spreadsheet. These graphs were created in Microsoft Excel. You'll see at the beginning there's kind of a dip in the altitude, and that's called a zoom. Actually, what you do is dive off of the high start, which is a big rubber band, and try to get the maximum altitude after that. I couldn't find any lift for a while. Uh, I started actually finding some sink. You'll see that little dip, uh, that quick dip. And then I, st I found lift shortly after that, and then found what's called zero sink, and then returned for normal landing. So this is, a, is an example of a pretty good flight for that little Vista that I was flying. The key components of my logger variometer are the NXP ARM Cortex-M0 microcontroller. Of course it's the LPC-1114. I chose it because it's low power, low cost, it's highly integrated, it's 32-bit, which means that uh, computations are simpler and we can move data faster, and it's high performance. Also for measurement specialties there's the MS 5603B miniature element. It's got a 10 centimeter resolution, it's low power, and it's temperature compensated. I can read the temperature down to a hundredth of a degree C, and of course it's I squared C compatible. The logger variometer also includes a maximum real time clock, the DS1339, U in this case. Uh, it's low power, it has an integrated crystal, and it's I squared C compatible. And of course, and of course the Cobra MicroTalk walkie-talkie set. It's got a small footprint, extended range which is out to about 16 miles, and it's very lightweight. The features of the variometer logger include high resolution logger, of course as I mentioned 10 centimeters at 2 hertz. Uh, the next planned variation will be 8 hertz. Voice-based variometer, it's updated every 10 seconds. It gives me a up, down, delta, change of up or down over the last 10 seconds and it also indicates the current altitude. 
what I've learned. My original digital to audio converter was actually a codec, uh, an audio codec. It used an I squared S interface. I had hoped to cajole the digital audio converter, actually it's an audio codec, to work with the LPC-1114. Uh, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought. I even thought about pushing the audio to the LPC-3154 to use its I squared S interface. This turned out to be more of a challenge than I was willing to bite off. In the end, I wound up using a good old I squared C DAC, uh, regular serial interface. I had to load the DAC every 122 microseconds, or about uh, 8,192 hertz. This created some interesting contention between the logger feature and the interrupt handler pushing the audio. Also, not knowing when the pilot might turn off the variometer logger, I had to sync each write. This took a, a lot of time. It became a performance bottleneck for the overall system. Depending on the state of the file system, a write could take almost a half a second. Also, radio frequency interference in the audio. Initially, I tied the variometer to the same battery as the aircraft receiver and servos. The RFI noise was severe. In my next generation, I plan on building a separate power converter for the variometer with RFI blocking this time. What's next? Well, I'm going to put this on a printed circuit board. Uh, one of these proto houses that will do printed circuit boards for around $50. I plan on using a parallel interface codec that will allow me to offload the LPC-1114 from worrying about updating the DAC every 122 microseconds. This will allow more time to handle the logger feature. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this.